Man, I have a problem. I've got so many bikes. I mean, where can I even store them all? N plus one, I mean, what does that even mean? Is that, is that, it's crazy. Is it possible just to have one bike that makes me happy? One bike that satisfies all my needs and desires? Is that even possible? And I definitely need some help. Yep, I definitely need some help, and I think you might be the one who can give it to me. I've been in the bike business going on 30 years now, and while I can't say I've made a lot of money, I can say that I love what I do because I love bicycles. Maybe a little too much. I mean, all the different kinds of bikes out there, road racing bikes, endurance road bikes, mountain bikes, gravel bikes, touring, commuting, fat bikes, mid-fat bikes, for goodness sake, cruisers, BMX, e-bikes, cargo bikes, time trial bikes. I want to ride them all, and it's just too much. And while some folks are satisfied to ride only one type of bike, when you've got it real bad like I do, it's just overwhelming. What can I do if I want to throw down on a Saturday morning road ride and then hit some gravel roads on Sunday? Or maybe during the week, I want to hit some local single track, but I need to get myself there on my commuter since I threw away my car. And I got to thinking, what if I could put together one bike that could do all that stuff? What would that bike look like? That idea set me on a path. Put together a bike that would be fast enough to do a group road ride, hit the unpaved gravel, and manage some single track mountain biking. Some touring or bike packing? Yeah, why not? And while I'm at it, it should be able to get around and do chores. Go shopping, you know, that sort of thing. You know, just be a good utility bike. Now keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the best at all that stuff, it just has to work well enough. Is it possible? I think it is, but this is where the crowd comes in. I've settled on this vast A1 frame set as my starting point. Why? It's relatively light and it's relatively cheap. This particular model only works with the single chainring setup, so that could potentially be an issue, but with all the new drivetrain options out there, I think it should be doable. The A1 is technically a gravel bike, but they call it all road, and I think I believe them. So here's what the parameters are. It needs to be as light as possible, handle a wide range of wheel and tire combos, gearing that works in all those situations, and come in at a cost that's significantly less than just buying four or five bikes. Oh, and it has to look cool too, because you know, why not? In order for you to help me though, I have to provide a little context. See, the first problem, and I have, and I don't think you'll think of it as a problem, is that I own a bike shop. I can ride just about any bike I want. Between my wife and I, our personal bike stable varies between 8 and 15 bikes at any given time, and I've had more bikes come and go than I can remember, and I can honestly say there are only one or two I didn't care for. But that's a lot of damn bikes. I need to think about slimming down. Also, I'm a pretty good rider, or at least I was before my spine started to fall apart. I've raced, but I've really never been too competitive, and I've ridden in some great places on a lot of different terrain. I need a bike that's like me. A bike that's good at a lot of stuff without having to be the best at any one thing. A jack of all trades, if you will. I don't need to win, I just want to have fun. And that's where you come in. I need some fresh ideas. I'm looking for a diverse range of ideas about how to spec this bike out. I'm pretty sure I haven't thought of all the possibilities. What would you do given the requirements? What gearing would you choose? What about wheels and tires? Would you use a flat bar, drop bar, something in between? So what's your opinion? Can it even be done? Should I just see a therapist? Oh, hey, I just had to run out to get a haircut. What do you think? Now, where was I? Oh yeah, let me know how you would build this bike. You know what they say, it takes a village. Post your comments below and hopefully the hive mind will come up with the best answers. Also, hit that like button like it owes you money and subscribe to keep up on the progress of our project. As always, thanks for watching CycleCraft TV and remember, keep the rubber side down. Catch you later.